that is not gonna happen. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator, and welcome to another Poke Monday random battle. We've got Choice Specs Typhlosion out here, Vileplume with Black Sludge, Sleep Powder, pretty cool. Uh, worthless looking Volbeat, maybe. Uh, Furret doesn't look that great either. Kyoker's got Water Spout and a Choice Scarf, which is cool, and a bulk up Hitmonchan might be able to do some things. So I can't really hit Ventini. I'm gonna switch out of here to Furret, I think, maybe, probably. But I'd also like to mention that my Morrowind series was featured on a Watch Mojo uh, Top Let's Roleplay countdown, which I think is super, super cool. We've seen a lot of new subscribers, which is awesome. I thank you so much for tuning in. And hopefully you'll uh, check out and enjoy some of my other content, even if it's a little more uh, laid back, less uh, serious than my roleplay content, even though my roleplay content isn't that similar. Uh, so that big team he just U-turned out on the fur that I sent in, he brings in a Minon, and I just double-edged the shit out of that thing. He's gonna nasty plot up, uh, but I'm not really scared. I'll, I'm willing to sacrifice my Furret, uh, because we got plenty of other stuff. I could switch to Vileplume as well, but, uh, he brings in the Garchomp, that's fine. That thing's gonna eat another double-edge. It's a really, really big threat, so I'm gonna leave my Furret in here again. Double-edge that shit. Just try and get rid of that thing as fast as possible, because, uh... My Pokemon is a bit smaller than his, uh, stat-wise, but it still does a good amount. Uh, he does a, an Earthquake, which of course is gonna KO that Furret, who had no damage left. He did almost all that damage to himself. Hitmonchan might be a good choice. Volbeat, uh, would be an interesting choice in case he likes Swords Dances or something like that. Uh, but I think Kyogre is the correct thing to do here. And we're just gonna go for the Water Spout, I believe. Maybe the Skull? No water spout and then uh yeah hopefully he doesn't bring that minon back in but it's not a hard hitting electric type doesn't have a nasty plot up anymore because it's switched out and i think water spout in the rain from a full health kyogre is going to be able to fucking punch a big hole in that thing yep he brings it right in trying to speed outspeed me but that is not gonna happen i have got the choice scarf uh maybe kyogre might outspeed anyways don't quote me on that doesn't matter, he brings in Rotom Heat, I'm sure it has an electric move too. Ooh, he goes for the Volt Switch, which is interesting. So that's gonna significantly depower my uh, Water Spout, and it's resisted by Clawitzer, which is unfortunate, extremely unfortunate, but I do have a Vile Plume in the wings. So I'm gonna send this little bad boy. He takes the Dark Pulse relatively well with good special defense. And I think Sleep Powder is the thing to do here, just in case he does bring in that Victini or Rotom Heat again. Uh, and even if Sleep Powder misses, uh, the water should help. Oh, no, he keeps the Claw Answer in. <laughs> and I put it to sleep, which is nice. So I'm going to go ahead and go for the Giga Drain. I could go for the Sludge Bomb predicting the Fire Poke, but he hasn't been making too many predictions in this battle. So yeah, we drink that Claw Answer right up, and my Vile Plume is almost back to full health, which is freaking amazing. <laughs> so, uh, Victini's back in here, much as I expected, but we do have the Typhlosion. Um, even though he can't hit anything, maybe with a Flash Fire boost, he'll be able to sweep uh, a little bit with the Eruption. Nope, he goes for the Grass Knot, predicting probably a switch to Kyogre again. Um, I'm gonna try out Eruption, see what a Specs Eruption will do against Victini. And the answer is not much. That's going to be a 4 or 5 hit KO. Good thing he U-turns out of there because we don't have anything to hit each other. And he brings in Arceus Ground, which is scary. Quite scary. We've got the, yeah, Vileplume. Kyogre would also be a smart choice. Ooh, Vileplume. Vileplume's going to have to take the hit so we can get a free switch into Kyogre because he is not going to outspeed that thing. I'll try and Giga Drain anyways. Nah, not today. That's a shame. Well, still got Kyogre in the wings. He's got uh, Scald, which we can rely on now instead of Rain Dance. And it does have a chance to burn, but no, critical hit. Fuck yeah, man. <laughs> that Kyogre's a beast. But he did get uh, a couple legendaries on his team. Well, at least one. It's all fair. So, he, got, he brings in the Victini. It takes a Scald to the face. I'm able to survive the Grass Knot, which is really, really nice. And, uh, I think that Rotom Heat probably has a Choice Scarf, um, and hopefully he doesn't have, like, well, I saw the Volt Switch, so I know he has an Electric Move, but hopefully he doesn't have Thunderbolt and I could just live. 
No. Not today. Never happened. Um, Volbeat would be an interesting choice. Typhlosion can't really hit anything. I think it's Hitmonchan. Hitmonchan all the way, baby. He's got pretty good special defense. His defense is lacking, but that is all fixed by bulk up. So yeah, you see me take that bolt switch pretty good. We're gonna bulk up, drain punch this thing into the ground. I do hope you've enjoyed this Pokemon Day episode. Uh, I'm trying to get back into the random battles. Really interesting with the Mo Watch Mojo thing. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I, I hope you find some content that you like. And he forfeits. <laughs> Alright, until the next time, friends. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I'll see you then. Bye bye! One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you.